Step back in time to the year 1374, in the ancient city of Aachen, nestled in the heart of Germany. This picturesque town, with its cobblestone streets and towering cathedral, was about to bear witness to a bizarre and enigmatic event that would shake its very foundations. Little did the people of Aachen know that they were on the brink of an outbreak that would forever be etched in history, the outbreak of St. John's Dance. It began innocuously enough, as a handful of individuals in the streets of Aachen were seized by a strange compulsion. They began to move in an unusual manner, their bodies swaying and twitching in peculiar rhythm. Passers-by couldn't help but stop and stare, bewildered by this mesmerizing spectacle. The news of these dancing individuals spread like wildfire through the town, sparking curiosity, concern, and even fear among its residents. As the days passed, the number of dancers increased exponentially. Men, women, and even children were caught in the grip of this mysterious affliction. Their movements became more frenzied, their eyes wild with a mix of ecstasy and terror. The air was filled with a cacophony of gasps, cries, and the rhythmic thud of countless feet against the cobblestones. The town of Aachen had turned into a chaotic dance floor, its inhabitants unwitting participants in a macabre performance. It was not only the physical aspect that gripped the dancers, they were tormented by vivid hallucinations. Visions of demons, angels, and fantastical creatures seemed to dance alongside them. Some dancers claimed they heard enchanting music that compelled them to move, while others felt an invisible force pushing and pulling them in every direction. It was as if an unseen hand held them captive in this twisted dance of torment. Days turned into weeks, and still, the dancing continued unabated. Fatigue and exhaustion began to take their toll on the dancers, as their bodies trembled and their movements grew weaker. Some collapsed in exhaustion, gasping for breath, while others suffered injuries from falls or collisions. Yet, the strange trance held them captive, pushing them to the brink of physical and mental collapse. The townsfolk of Aachen were filled with both compassion and dread. They witnessed friends, neighbors, and loved ones consumed by this inexplicable dance, their faces etched with anguish. Fear spread like a suffocating fog, weaving its way through the streets and into the hearts of all who witnessed this unprecedented phenomenon. Desperation seized the people of Aachen. They turned to their faith, hoping for divine intervention to break the curse that plagued their town. Processions, prayers, and religious rituals filled the streets, as the community beseeched the heavens to lift this inexplicable burden. But despite their fervent pleas, the dance persisted, seemingly impervious to the powers of prayer. And then, as mysteriously as it had begun, the outbreak of St. John's Dance in Aachen began to wane. The dancers gradually grew fewer, their frenetic movements slowing and fading into stillness. The streets, once filled with chaos, now echoed with a haunting silence. The people of Aachen, weary and scarred, emerged from the grip of this unexplained ordeal, forever marked by the dance of Aachen. The events of 1374 left a lasting imprint on the collective memory of Aachen and the annals of history. To this day, the outbreak of St. John's Dance stands as a testament to the strange and inexplicable manifestations that can grip human communities. It serves as a reminder of the frailty and resilience of the human spirit, and the mysteries that lie deep within the human psyche. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Click the box on the left for more historical events.